Scorpio, hello, I'm trying to be you. This is for Scorpio Sun and 8th house Sun. I am a Libra Sun and I'm waiting to hear from you. Well, I'm connecting to the collective of Scorpios now just to find out where your joy lies and where is the road to that said joy? Well, Scorpio is a water sign and every water sign asks a question. Okay, Libra answers the question about communion. Uh, then uh, basically answers it like this. Well, it doesn't matter in the end anyway. And then Scorpio goes, picks up this idea and goes, what does matter? Where is power? And that is hard. That's a hard question to wonder about because power is everywhere. <laughs> it's like stupid, this whole question. Because I am a rising Scorpio, I kind of know a little bit about it. I've also got like Scorpio Moon, Pluto and Scorpio, Mercury, uh, Ketu, South Node of the Moon and Scorpio. Uh, and a few other things too, little asteroids and things like that. Uh, also Saturn and, yeah, Saturn and Moon conjunct in Scorpio. So power is something that's on my plate as well. Um, so as long as I live, I'll always have the Scorpionic uh, dilemma as well as to where to, how to, and through which door do I walk to achieve that said power place in my life. And for you, power comes through feeling. Uh, as a sun and, uh, you know, eighth house sun native or Scorpio native, I feel you need to understand what you are in terms of you to be able to grasp that which is not feeling that powerful in order to step through into the next powerful place then to realize that's not powerful to step through into an understanding place and then through the next exciting place where you feel empowered and then realize that's not powerful Basically, for Scorpio, the story or the picture is painted a very basic way. It's like looking for yourself, finding yourself, feeling good for a split moment, realizing yourself is not where you thought it was, taking your bags, leaving, going to the next plane of consciousness, then feeling a little bit better, then feeling not at all good, and then going back and forward like that between things and people. And sometimes things come out of the dark, Sometimes things come out of the past and sometimes completely from the blue and things integrate. It's like weaving. You're weaving your life together. Every time you weave a new stitch, you go, aha. And we're like, oh, I've got more to go. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. And it keeps on going basically till the snake bites its own tail. And perhaps you've seen the esoteric symbol that is part of the tarot. That is the snake biting its own tail. It is the belt on the magician the first card in the higher arcana and for you my friend what does this mean basically you just come back to yourself you can go on and on and on and on exploring your feelings exploring different human beings exploring different careers and jobs and how scorpios we do love to and i say we because so many of my aspects are in scorpio Scorpios really do love the exploring of that which is now them which they never been and then just to scrap it and go to another place where they're actually going backwards when they think they're going forwards and so on, so on, so on, so on, so on. There's a progression. There's a feeling like you're going to the beginning of something. And that beginning is basically just you. And then what is power? What is passion? And what is life? It's just like blinking your eyes open every time. You're in the same place, but everything is different. And Scorpio gets it, like it gratefully understands that nothing is ever the same, even though it's a fixed sign, it's a fixed sign, of course, but it knows in its watery ways, even though I feel Scorpio is more like the desert and the sun and the rain at the same time, I have a feeling that for Scorpio, passion and power are just the inherent nature's callings. It's like voices of the future coming through the plants, voices of the past rumbling through the guts. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there is just the new every day. Everything always is power. And there is always power in every freaking segment of anything. And then when we think how to rise above ourselves and empower ourselves and to find our power, that's all just meaningless. Because power is not found is just understood, but it's not even understood, it's just accepted. 
like accept yourself already and that's something that Scorpio can do and at first you know the hard life starts with not enough acceptance from other people and then it turns around and you don't accept the people and then you don't accept yourself and then you don't accept the people and they don't accept you you're not accepted they're accepted are they acceptable no they're not you accept somebody ex exceptionally you really want somebody or something you accept them beyond all worlds and they don't accept themselves and it's really hard and then they accept you a little bit more and then you're like yes i'm accepted but they never expected you to be unacceptable and it's all just like a game of acceptance tick 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 acceptance acceptance i accept you i accept you why well because your past house is libra house i am your past i am the libra house i am freaking 11th house libra my friend so was going on there well acceptability that's something that libra learns through hard trials accepting that people are unhappy accepting that you won't be acceptable sometimes and this curse of trying to find acceptability is kind of still there for you for a while till you portray a completely different version to yourself that you've never seen before like this is a similar thing that Capricorn can do, but in a completely different way. Sometimes your um, feelings, especially when like, say, like Uranus and conjunct Pluto, like things happen, you know, in the sky, We've got different aspects. You know, people are shifting, people are finding Pluto power in funny ways. Like at the moment, we're finding Pluto power in the sun and we're finding it in Capricorn. So maybe your life feels like it should be worth it and you'll just live it up and spend a lot and you thought that you'd never do it but here you are doing it and you feel kind of acceptably unacceptable because you thought you never would splash out on a holiday or for example you never thought that you would just like build a bridge and get over it quickly but then understanding that it was just a matter of following the stars and following the sun and following your own footsteps it becomes strangely unacceptable to you because it's you who holds the power and for us it's really hard to see but it's like for scorpionic mind power is not freaking held by you power is drilled through power is plunged through power is cried for power is famed through you know and that's not true because power is just freaking in a moment it's like putting one leg one foot in front of the other and just freaking walking your path stumbling about and then making mistakes and making more mistakes and then power comes as a joke later to me as well as i evolve and to anyone with a scorpionic nature but it doesn't come too late because basically every cycle you live at the end you laugh uh, in some way you like say being putting yourself into a situation with a person with a partner and you thought they were your world and you kind of danced around them and did a little dance and hey honey how's it going are you happy you know and then at the end you kind of realize wow there was a real joke there was a real full-on power play there and i didn't even realize i was powering through them or they were powering out through me and it was just a weird thing and then you laugh and you're like wow that was a joke there was a there was a hackle that I created for me because I thought that I would have been a lot more powerful with a man or I would have been a lot more powerful with this person who was happy beside me and not sad beside me and this is why or well, because Scorpio continues to create new frontiers for itself without knowing it because this is going to sound really freaky to me and to you and I'm gonna have a cup of tea but Scorpio sometimes recreates a certain pattern just to see what it can come up with next time just to deal with it better because it's a fixed sign so scorpio say for example had a boyfriend okay and the boyfriend couldn't afford much so the boyfriend never left the home you know and then that didn't work out for whatever reason and you felt that it was one of the main reasons why it didn't work out then you manifest another boyfriend who's got a lot of money who can leave the home whenever he wants and then you want to see how it pans out and sometimes that doesn't work either and then you create a next opportunity where um, the home becomes the hub and there's no need to leave it so it's like you put the situation the same situation the same frequency in different ways just to see what it looks like in different ways and manifesting different people is really hard for Scorpio but often they'll resort to that but sometimes it doesn't actually need to be in the bedroom sometimes it's just a job like sometimes you can get a job or like you're doing something every day 
And for example, uh, this time you are a career person. This time you say looking towards something that is bigger than you and brighter than you and feeling how good it feels to take tiny little steps and get it done eventually. And then you get there and you're like, fuck, that wasn't a big deal. I didn't even feel like I needed to do that. And then say you manifest a different career where you're very small and you're working towards somebody else's future, somebody else's success. And then you get them up there and you do the thing and they become the star and then you're like fuck well that was boring and then say you'll manifest a different thing say you've got a different group say you're under a few people then a few people are under you and you're helping the people under you and they're helping you and then kind of ends up a success anyway but then it was boring and then it's like you'll turn the same story around until you kind of go actually i don't freaking need a job i'm just going to retire and i'm just gonna like say sell this freaking product that i buy for really cheap and I'm going to sell it really expensive and that's just gonna be me. And then you like create this huge freaking success out of it. You know, when you give up, when you're still trying Scorpio, and that's for me as well, as I got so many planets there and aspects and moon and ascendant and God knows what. When you are trying Scorpio, you're trying to reform the same kind of story. You wanna see what works. You wanna see what's powerful and you wanna see what lasts. That's where you sort of break a little bit and you kind of lose it and you spend a lot of time and a lot of mind and a lot of money on the things and people and places that don't really matter to you too much as long as you can find this place like of retirement and that means like tutorship because you become a little bit more like both actually you become more like libra like your unconscious mind and you become more like the forward which is like the sagittarius mind which is basically I'm just walking around doing shit. I really don't fucking care. I really don't give a shit, you guys. I really don't give a shit. Like, say, I don't care what I become. I don't care if I'm an actor or a tutor or a drama person or a banker. I don't care if I'm a male or a bride. I don't care, you guys. And then you kind of go, I don't really feel anything towards another person. You know, I mean, I could have this person, that person. That's another thing with Scorpio because they can feel a lot of feelings. And then those feelings tend to give way to other feelings and bigger feelings and smaller feelings and it's not really about that human being that they're looking at it's just about themselves and that relationship because they're forging themselves anew through that experience and then they're like well i can be with simon and i can be with bob and i can be with jonathan and i can be with tanya and i can be with tina and i can be with serena and i can be with Jashana and I can be with fucking a million freaking people and then they kind of go okay well you know what I'm gonna do I'm just going to like have the build this little house in the fucking prairie and then whoever walks through the door is going to be mine okay who's walking through the door Michael okay let's be together okay Michael here's your job you know you like do this I'm, I'm gonna do this and it becomes like a really passive relationship eventually and they just can't be bothered but but in that can't be bothered and i'm just gonna live my life that's the next phase of their happiness because happiness doesn't quite come there when they give up on the search for power and fulfillment scorpios can actually start forgiving themselves for being that obsessive in the first place or being that power hungry in any way being in such need for intensity and forgiveness of other people and need and desire and succumbing to this and succumbing to that like they can just freaking forget about it and then eventually in time comes the next stage and next stage is freaking holy shit that's really fun that's really fun so they'll be like freaking living in a little house in the prairie and then they start freaking shooting bottles you know out of a gun you know they're like oh fuck that's really fun that's really fun to shoot those bottles and then they get a, every bottle every time right in the middle and they start like sort of making it fun for themselves okay every time i'm going to get this bottle on the corner of the first letter you know say if it says budweiser or something on the can or a bottle and then say i need to get it right in the right bottom corner of the b and then every time they shoot they get it you know and then they can become freaks when they don't care like and when they pursue something that they really enjoy for example if you're a dancer you've been dancing all your life and you've been studying ballet and you've been doing this and that and you've been really wanting you've been really vulnerable and you're wanting to be a star or you're wanting to find meaning and dance and maybe wanting to have a certain type of story or a picture that's next to your name it's like the wonderful marilyn you know the amazing ballet dancer you know the bolshoi 
you know, the Bolshoi queen, something like that. And then by the time you're 49, you're like, okay, my dreams didn't come true. Maybe I've got a little ballet school. I teach five-year-olds how to do pirouettes. Fuck, fuck my life. I didn't do shit with my time. And that could be a very likely scenario for most Scorpios, at least once in their life, they feel like they've invested most of themselves into nothing. And then something comes out of that. And it could be something stupid. It's like, well, I'm going to fucking make little outfits for these little girls. You know, I'm going to make cute little fucking fairy outfits and it's going to be fucked. Like, this is fucked and I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I'm 49 and I've studied all my life to do ballet and here I am teaching tiny kids and oh, look, there's a spark I can sew this on. Wow, that actually looks really cool. Look, I can like sew on all these little sparkles by hand. And look, maybe I'll like add some lace or well, fuck it. I'll just throw in a whole bunch of lace into this outfit. And how about some fairy wings now? Nah, fuck it. Nah, okay, fuck. Okay, I got a Sunday afternoon. I'm doing nothing, you know, and I'm just going to just do this thing. And then this person can become amazing at that, like amazing. And they've always wanted to be something and I've always wanted to. And then they just find a career or like happiness and joy out of something that they otherwise wouldn't have come to without, you know, the need for power until they can stop chasing power. But for some Scorpios, including myself, power is something that plays with them a lot throughout their life and gives them little hints. Yeah, like say, okay, so you've been drawing all your life, right? Well, did you know that you're a dancer? Whoa, I'm a dancer. Okay, okay, no, 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 no. Well, you, you've been dancing. Hey, look, here's an illustration job. Now you can draw for your life. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, fuck, I don't like that. Maybe I'll just go travel. Oh, look, you're a traveler. Wonderful. Oh, wow, you're like stuck in the house now. You can't move. What are you going to do? Uh, I guess I'll do drawing again. Okay, fuck, I'll do drawing again. And then life just picks you up and go... Oh, did you know that your life is completely upside down? Hey, look, look like, like, you can channel now. You can do all these things you always wanted and kind of go, oh, goodness gracious, like, where do I start? And uh, life kind of takes you in and out. And that's not really life. It's just you wanting more forgiveness of yourself as you sort of grow and develop. And forgive yourself for putting yourself uh, into situations which are refining you down to a job or refining you down to a person. Like, did you know that that person was right for you? Well, look, somebody else comes. Ah, oh, look, they cheated on you. Ha <laughs> ha. You know, like life is like that for a Scorpio because it basically wants you to suffice in yourself without the need for other things to dominate your consciousness. <laughs> and that's just fucked because that means that for me is basically like being on my own talking shit to myself like I am now with you and that is something that is very elusive and empowering at the same time because when the Scorpio finds power and what they do sometimes they don't want it when they finally find that thing that brings to them the money and the glory and the people or they find that person that really wants to be with them forever some, some, sometimes what happens is that person they, they can just like disconnect from it and you're like like, okay, so this was the answer all along. And then they find another game to play. And that's just something that Scorpio will do forever. And uh, that's the beauty of Scorpio. Because they're just trying to understand that laughter at things is what they were doing that thing for. And sometimes, like, say, two or three years, even two or three decades of constant hard work is enough. Uh, is good because they get one day or one moment of really good laughter what they've done before and that can just form like a whole new reality for them so anyway without further ado I'd love to advertise myself as a reader I'd love to advertise myself as a singer and I'd like to advertise myself as an artist as well because I'm very perplexed as I you as to who I am still and uh, here's my link below if you'd like you can subscribe to my channel you can get a personal reading you can get a portrait, um, you can just do whatever you like and enjoy your day. Thank you.